Okay, next. Example. A, B, and C borrowed money from X in the amount of 3,000 pesos, obligating themselves to pay on June 30, 1991. When the obligation became due and demandable, X demanded from A the full amount of the obligation. Is the action of X correct? Yes or no? Why? No. Because under the law, the presumption is that the obligation is joint. Okay? Joint is the presumption. Ang solidary, solidary hindi. Kailangan nakalagay sa kontrata na solidary ang liability. So, the answer is no. Because the obligation is only a joint one. There is no presumption of solidary solidarity. Remember that. There is only a presumption that the obligation is joint. Hence, the amount of 3,000 is presumed to be divided into as many as equal shares as there are debtors. Sir, since there are 3 debtors, so the 3,000 shall be equally divided to them. So, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Okay? Next question. What is the nature of the liability of a franchise holder and the owner of a vehicle under the kabit system? Explain. And dito yung kabit na alam ninyo, ha? Ang kabit system, ito yung, yung nam mga namamasada. The nature of the li their liability is solida solidary. In the case of Perez versus Gutierrez, the Supreme Court held that under the cabit system, if a vehicle used for transporting passengers meets an accident, the ostensible owner shall be liable, but he has a right of recourse against the true owner of the vehicle. In fact, the Supreme Court held that their liability is solidarity. Next question. The a contract was entered into a performance bond executed by Stronghold Insurance. The principal of Lycor died, hence the surety of the debtor contended that the debt of the debtor extinguished its obligation. Is the contention correct? Yes or no? Why? The contention is wrong, okay? The, uh, hence, no. A surety company's liability under the performance bond. It issues the bond it issues is solidary. The debt of the so, the principal of Ligor does not as a rule extinguish the obligation and that the solidary nature of that liability. Remember that death is not a defense that he or his estate can set up to wipe out the obligation under the performance bond. Consequently, the party or the petitioner as a surety cannot use his debt to escape its monetary obligation. State the basic rules in case of obligation that is joint. The following are the basic rules. One. Demand for the fulfillment made by the creditor upon one of the debtor does not place the other debtors in default. So, ang liability ng isa hindi makakapekto sa liability ng iba. Number two, the interruption of the prescriptive period with respect to one debtor does not affect the rights of the other. So, for example, si A, B, and C. Okay? Si A, B, and C. Si A, meron siyang 30 days to pay. Si B, meron siyang 40 days to pay. At si C, merong 60 days to pay. Kung nag-expire na yung days na 40 kay A, hindi maapektuhan si B at C. Okay? Pagdating ng 50th day, si B naman ang nag-expire yung period. Si C, hindi pa rin maapektuhan kasi meron pa siyang 10 days remaining. Next, the defense of one debtor is not a valid defense of the other. Next, state the rules in case there is a payment by one of the solidary debtors. Solidarity to ah. Solidarity to ah. So, for example, A, B, and C. Okay? 
A, B, and C. Umutang si... Si... Umutang sila kay A ng 30,000. Ngayon, sila ang umutang ha. Sila ang debtor. Si A, A, and B, and C, kailangan nila ng 30,000 pesos. Sila ang may kailangan. Umutang ngayon sila kay A kasi si A milyonaryo. Ngayon, nagkaroon ng pera bigla si... Si... Ay, teka lang. Sorry, sorry. X, Y, and Z. Okay? Si X, Y, and Z na kailangan ng pera na 30,000 pesos. Umutang sila kay A. Si A, isang milyonaryo. Si X, Y, and Z ngayon, eh, syempre, yan, nagtatrabaho-trabaho. Bigla, si ngayon, si X, nag, biglang nagkaroon ng racket. Diba? Nag, uh, binigyan siya ngayon ng 30,000 pesos. Sabi niya, ay, bigla, bayaran ko na nga yung, yung utang namin na 30,000 kay A. So, ngayon, binayaran ni X yung 30,000 kay A. Yung si X ngayon, to, mag-apply yung rule 1217. Payment by one of the solidary debtors extinguishes the obligation. Always remember na solidary yung liability. So, payment of one will now extinguish the whole obligation. Pero kung joint yan, for example, joint yan, si X, Y, and Z, Si X hindi ta- hindi pwedeng 30 hindi 30,000 ang babayaran niya kundi 10,000. Ay, o oh, tama. Hindi 10,000 na ang baba. Kundi 10,000 na ang kailangan niyang bayaran kasi equally divided dapat sa kanila yung 30,000 pesos. Ganun. Suppose one of the solid de- solidary debtors cannot pay his share to the debtor who paid. Se- state the rule. Paano daw kung kung for example si Y hindi niya mabayaran yung share niya. Di ba, 30,000 nga yung utang. O, solidary yun. So, yung share niya, hindi niya mababayaran. Di, wala siyang contribution niya yun. Anong mangyari? Article 1217 will apply. The share of the debtor who cannot reimburse the solidary debtor who paid shall be shouldered by all his co-debtors in proportion to the debt of each. So, anong mangyari? Since te, yung 10,000 is hindi mababayaran ni Y, ito ay ma-divide between X and Z. So, yung 5,000, kalahati ng 10,000, 5,000 kay X, 5,000 kay Z. Ayan. So, ngayon si Z, ang babayaran niya na ngayon is 15,000 pesos. Next. What is the effect of the loss of the thing due without the fault of the solidary co-debtors? Ano daw mangyayari? Pag nawala yung bagay, nawala namang kasalanan yung mga solidary co-debtors. Under your article 1221, read. The obligation extinguished. Under the law, if the thing has been lost or if the prestation has become impossible without the fault of the solidary co-debtors, the obligation is now extinguished. How about this one? What is the effect if the loss was due to the fault naman ng isa sa mga solidary debtors? Article 1221, paragraph 2 will apply. It is the fault of all. So, ang kasalanan ng isa, kasalanan ng lahat. If there was a fault on the part of one of the solidary debtors, all shall be responsible to the creditor for the price and the payment of the damages and the interest without prejudice, of course, to the action against the guilty or negligent debtor. Kasalanan ng isa, kasalanan ng, la- ng lahat, ganun sa solidary liability. However, yung mga walang kasalanan, for example, X, Y, and Z, wala namang kasalanan si X at Z. They can go against while later on. X. Obligations with penal clause. What are the rules on obligations with penal clause? Kindly read Article 1226, 1227, and 1228. Okay? What is the, the purpose of the penalty clause? In the case of country bankers versus court of appeals, the Supreme Court said that the penalty clause in an obligation is designed to ensure performance of the obligation. How many... Uh, uh, there are two kinds of penalty clause. Okay? There are two kinds. One, a penalty clause imposed essentially as penalty in case of breach. This is it is a penalty having for its 
principal object the enforcement of a compliance with the con contract while the other one is a penalty clause imposed as indemnity for damages yung isa para i-enforce yung compliance ng kontrata yung isa naman as indemnity for damages When do you consider a penalty reasonable or iniquitous? In the case of Law v. Court of Appeals, the, the Supreme, Supreme Court said that the question of whether a penalty is reasonable or iniquitous can be partly sub subjective and partly objective as its resolution would depend on such factors as like the type, extent, and purpose of the penalty. Also, the nature of the obligation, the mode of breach and its consequences, the supervening realities, the standing and relation of the parties, and the like. The application of which, by and large, is addressed to the sound discussion of the court. So, I will give you a case. X borrowed a money from Y with the stipulation that the amount shall earn interest of 5% per month and a penalty clause of 4% per month. In case of default, um, 4% per month in case of default. X defaulted, hence Y demanded the performance of the obligation. And having failed to pay, Y should X X interpose that the defense that the penalty imposed in the contract is excessive and in inequitous. Hence, the court must reduce it. Is the defense proper? Why? Yes. Under your Article 1229, the law provides that the judge shall equitably reduce the penalty when the, the, the principal obligation has been partly or irregularly complied with by the debtor. Even if there has been no performance, the penalty may still be reduced by the court if it is unconscionable or inequitous. Next. What are the exceptions to the rule that penalty clause shall be substitute for the payment of interest and damages? Under Article 1226, they are 1. When there is no stipulation to the contrary, 2. When the obligor is sued for refusal to pay the agreed penalty, 3. When the obligor is guilty of fraud. Next, state the rules in case the principal obligation or the penal clause is void. Under your Article 1230, the nullity of the penal clause does not carry with it that of the principal obligation. The nullity of the principal obligation, however, carries with it that of the penal clause. So, dito, meron dalawang bagay. Yung principal na obligation at yung penal clause. Pag void daw yung penal clause, hindi maaapektuhan ang principal obligation. Pero pag yung principal obligation aman ang void, maaapektuhan yung penal clause. Okay? Can the court delete penalty clause? Okay. Under the in the case of Garcia versus C A and Article twelve thirty four, itong sabi ng court, the stipulated penalty might even be deleted, such as when there has been substantial performance in good faith by the by court. When the penalty clause itself suffers from fatal infirmity or when exceptional circumstances so exist as to warrant it. So, pwede i-delete ng court yung penalty clause. So, that's all for today. The next topic will be regarding extinguishment of obligations, payment, and performance. And... Um, maybe some cases on uh, on payment and payment. Maramit ang cases sa payment.
we will likewise discuss loss and compensation on ne- uh, on our next meeting that's all for today and thank you and god bless